Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to use Google Docs to find sensitive information or conduct focused searches about someone. This is an incredibly powerful tool for anyone interested in OSINT, open source intelligence. Have you ever tried looking for someone online only to be bombarded with billions of irrelevant search results? What you're really after is something much more specific and narrow. Well, in this video, I'll teach you how to use Google's built-in search features to refine your results and save tons of time. Okay, so the first step in doing this is using quotation marks for exact matches. Let's start with the basics. If you were to search for a common name like Michael Smith, for example, you would literally get a bunch of results, like billions. You don't, even, you wouldn't even like so much results. But instead, if you were to use something like this, where you put quotation marks around the name. Spell that wrong. Then it would only give you a search result of this name. And since this name is like super generic, obviously like we're not gonna really do like get that much that too specific, but it's, it was still narrowed down from like what I searched before. This is extremely helpful for finding someone on Google or something like that. Okay, the next operator we have is the in URL operator. This allows you to search for terms that appear specifically in URLs. For example, searching in URL, quotation marks, Michael Smith, will show you all the URLs that count contain the name Michael Smith. This can be incredibly useful for finding profiles, articles, or other online matches directly tied to someone. So let me show you guys an example of this. So you would do something like this. And this would just give you like a bunch of URLs about the name Michael Smith, right? You know, like LinkedIn profiles, YouTube, whatever the whatever the heck, you know, all this stuff. Okay, so next we have the site operator. With the site tool, you can search within a specific website. For instance, if you wanted to see Twitter results for Michael Smith, you would type something like site semicolon twitter.com and uh, Michael Smith. So let me show you guys an example of that. So you do this. And here you'd only get Twitter results or I should say X. Cause you know, but yeah, you'd only get X.com. So you may be asking why not just search on Twitter? Well, that's because Google often displays cache results that might not be visible on the website itself, such as deleted posts or comments. For example, if Michael commented on a post, but later deleted it, Google's cache might still display it. To check if a URL is cached, click the three dots next to the search result, and then downward, and then the, and then the downward arrow to view the cache page. Use the images tab to find visual content related to your search. For example, if Michael Smith commented on a private post, cached versions might still appear in Google images. So let me guys show you an example of the uh, cache URLs. Okay, so to check if a website is cached, you just click on these three dots right here. And it would usually come up like right here. Like you see that we have the share, save, remove result, and all that. Uh, if you it would usually have like another one right here just called cached. And if it does, you could look into the website. And say, and then you can go to like images here and you can go to like one of these posts. And so if the website is cached and you click on one of these images, it will show you like, you know, if they had any comments or something like that related to the image or the post. If you see x.com here, Facebook, yeah, things like that. This, this is another great operator to use. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so say you wanted to search multiple sites at once, one of these operators, you could just type in something like this. Um, say Instagram. And just type that in like that. And it will show you only Instagram and Twitter results. As you can see there. Okay, so next we have the AND operator. The AND operator helps you combine multiple search terms. So for example, we could do like Say you wanted to search up Michael Smith and 
totally you. So you decided this person has something to do with cooking. So you searched up Michael Smith in cooking and it will show you a chef, for example. Michael Smith, another one. A bunch of people but that has to do with cooking. Okay, so you could even go deeper into this by adding location or context. So if you're trying to find someone specific, you can include their location in your search. For example, I can do something like uh, Michael Smith and China, you know, maybe there's a Michael Smith in China or something, or Michael Smith did something in China, you know, I mean, post it on the internet, we can see here. This narrows your results to information about Michael Smith related to China. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to some advanced Google dorks. So here we have one of the most powerful tools for specific searches, and this is Google's hacking database here. So this can help you uncover passwords, usernames, and other sensitive information. For example, using a query like file type, that uh, semicolon text and text semicolon passwords. So I'll show you an example of that. So if you're just searching something like this, you could literally find. Okay. Oh well, you don't. Well, you want to put it here, but. Like if you put like something like passwords in, you could find like passwords, you know, whatever. And you could also do something like this, where y'all see this thing that I put here earlier, you could just type that in and literally like just a bunch of passwords. So this can sometimes reveal exposed text files containing passwords. Keep in mind that using search queries responsibly is crucial. Always respect privacy laws and ethical guidelines when conducting searches. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys some bonus tips. Experiment with combining operators for more refined searches. So for example, we could do something like this. We could do site, facebook.com, Michael Smith, and New York or Los Angeles. So if we were to put that in. Show you a bunch of results for Michael Smith in New York you know, or him in Los Angeles. And it will show you like Facebook. So with these techniques, you can effectively narrow down your searches and uncover more specific information. Whether you're an OSINT enthusiast or just someone looking for a focused search, Google Dorks is an invaluable tool. Let me know in the comments if you found this tutorial helpful or if you have any questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.